Hello, this is Jeannie Alcott. We are so happy to offer you a great calendar for 2025. This calendar has beautiful nature scenes and spiritual inspiration. There's a scripture every month to give you God's Word and plenty of space for notes and appointments and a spiral bound for easy use. We're offering this religious inspirations calendar to you for a gift of $12 into this ministry. So be sure to get yours by calling 918-459-9191 or go to our website, alcottministries.org, or you can write to us. Request your calendar with God's Word today. God bless you. We're so glad you're with us today. We believe this will be an important time in your life. You can feel the presence and power of God as Jeannie shares His Word. Enter in and enjoy His love and compassion coming to you. Jeannie and John care about the challenges you're facing and the dreams and goals you have. So expect God's power to move and do a great work as Jeannie ministers and prays with you. Then, at the end of the broadcast, we'll tell you about the special gifts and resources we have for you. Here now is a word of power for you. Hello, this is Jeannie Alcott. This message is about how there are certain events and conditions and people that come into your life. They're meant to be there. They are ordained. So we're going to talk about what is ordained for you. God has specific relationships, responsibilities, blessings, and anointing for you. We know as believers we don't just exist and whatever happens, happens. If we decide we want to go a certain direction, we can just do it. Or take a certain job or marry a person of our own choice. No, everything, down to every detail, is ordained by God. It's chosen, prearranged, destined. So, it's up to us to make the choice if we will take what He's prepared. Will we follow the anointing He has on us? When we do follow that anointing, we'll enter into the greatest fulfillment and success. If we choose not to have trust and therefore not enter into what's ordained, that's when we can miss the miracle. We can forego our heart's desire being fulfilled. In other words, we exist in misery. Now, let me be quick to say that we will all make a few wrong choices in our lives. But that doesn't mean what's meant to be cannot be now. God can keep open the way for us to get into the anointed path He has for us. He wants to see you experience the very best that He's planned, doing the thing that will give you peace and fulfillment in your life. So recognize that your times are appointed. You know, there are all kinds of enticements and distractions that come to us to take us out of what's ordained for us, especially in these times where there is such a variety to offer people. I mean, can you imagine years gone by how if someone wanted to purchase something, all they could do was go down to a local country store and see if they had it. Then someone created an order book from which they could order by mail. Nowadays, it's just one click away on our phone or PC, and we can see dozens of options for what we want to purchase. That same concept is true for every part of our life. There are all kinds of job options. You can find people to form a relationship online or make investments. You name it. So many different choices. So it can make it harder to make sure you're making the right choice, the one that is meant to be. In other words, what you're supposed to be doing, what you're anointed to achieve and receive. That's what will get you to the right place at the right time. The best one for you. There are so many things that will try to pull us away from what's meant to be, our appointed times. I can remember when I was working for Oral Roberts Ministries, and I hadn't been there too much time, but I didn't feel I was going any place, and I wasn't growing at the pace I desired. So I applied at an energy firm for a position that had come open, and it required much of the types of skills I had developed. So I was offered the position. Now I had a decision to make. Would I stay at Oral Roberts Ministries, or would I take this other position? Well, of course, I was praying, I was fasting, I was trying to hear the Spirit of God, reading His Word, hearing messages, you know, all the things we do to hear God's way. I wanted to make sure I did what was ordained for me. I wanted to be in the anointed path, not in the convenient path. Sometimes you can do what's convenient for you, or what hits your hot button, but it isn't the way that God has anointed for you. And you don't want to walk out from under the anointing, or you will not reach your fullest potential. So to help me make a decision, I also went to the management that was over me at the ministry, and I shared about this potential career change. I wanted to know if they saw a career path there for me, 
or would I be better off to go to that new position? Well, they assured me that they saw good potential for me there, but they couldn't give me details. I mean, it wasn't as if they had a position in mind that they were going to move me in that direction. So that made my decision tougher. But God has a way when we're submitted to Him to show us His direction. And over time, I began to have a knowing inside me that His anointing was on me to stay there in my current position. I couldn't see the future. I couldn't even see a year ahead. But I knew God would bless and grow me if I obeyed Him and stayed there. So I did. You see, my times were appointed ordained, just as yours are. Now here's something interesting. The reason management couldn't describe to me a plan and position they had for me was because it didn't exist yet. See, as I grew and developed in that company, the needs of the company had evolved to require a new type of position. And once it was created, I was anointed to walk into it. See, God had something that was meant for me, but it couldn't be seen. So it took trusting him that he had ordained the position in the place. And of course, because I stayed there, I acquired all kinds of skills and experience and became a vice president, which prepared me to one day create this ministry. And that was another decision time when it was time to start the Alcott Ministries. Again, God confirmed to me that it was ordained and I was to begin going on radio. And that's how the ministry began. See, if you watch for what is meant to be, God will show you. And that's when your satisfaction will be complete. You'll have the right people in your life. Make the best investments of your time and finances in your love. You'll be in the right position at the right time. And you know what this does? It creates blessings and miracles and growth. Your choices will cause good outcomes. And that's because you're doing what is meant to be. You're following God's path. You know, He puts within our spirit the ability to be able to follow Him. We don't have to go around banging our heads against brick walls trying to figure it out. He puts that knowing instinct in our spirit if we will listen for it. In Jeremiah in the Bible, it says God put that instinct even in birds so they would know when to migrate. They know when to go and where to be. So for sure, we have that in our spirit. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 7 says, Even the migratory birds are punctual to their seasons. The stork in the heavens knows her appointed times of migration, and the swallow and the crane observe the time of their return. It's saying they know their seasons, they know their appointed times, and they follow those. This is what God is saying to us. Know your season, your appointed times for everything in your life. He has ordained what is meant to be for every part, and your spiritual instinct will guide you so you move into those times. Once you do, That's where his anointing will continue on you. It will produce the best for you. It will determine your future. The prophet Jeremiah who wrote that was making a point to those to whom he was speaking. He was saying, hey guys, if birds can do this, so can you. He knew they must follow what God had ordained for them. So he shares how God made known to him that he was to be a prophet to the nations. He was to give the word of God to them so they could follow him. Well, one day God spoke to him and said, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew and approved of you as my chosen instrument. And before you were born, I separated and set you apart, consecrating you, and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Before he was born, his times were appointed. He was to tell the nations of God's grace and how they could follow him and experience all he had for them. And their response would determine their future. Before you were ever formed, ooh, hear the Spirit of God. Before you were ever formed, your times were appointed. When, where, what, and who. I mean, it's all ordained by God. What happens in your life isn't just a random choice. Everything you do can have God's anointing on it to be good and victorious and fulfilling when you follow what is meant to be. And even when challenges come or natural events happen, There is a supernatural way ordained for you to overcome and be blessed and happy and satisfied. You can do and receive what God has for you. That's what is meant to be for you. Right now, God is speaking to your heart. There's something that you have wondered about or you're seeking. God has ordained the answer. He's ordained your way. So we're going to seek Him about it as we go into prayer right now. This is a very important, powerful time for you. Let's pray. 
And as I'm beginning to pray, God's Spirit is wanting to speak to your heart. He wants you to know the truth about your life, the anointing He has on you and how He's ordained you. So He is saying to you this moment, these words, Yes, I formed you. I formed you with my anointing. My Spirit has followed you all your days. In the bad times, He has upheld you. In the good times, He has made you greater and blessed you. Now is the time for you to hear this anointed word. Now is the time for you to walk into what is meant for you. I know you have been suffering inside to know how and when. I will guide you into those appointed times. Don't be concerned or distraught. You need not even wonder about this. I am taking care of everything. Just remain soft in your heart before me. You will know the time. You will sense the moving of my spirit, and I will send every support you need to guide you into this. This is going to happen. You will see it all fulfilled. I have ordained it and spoken it this day. Oh God, thank you. We receive everything you have spoken. Just drive this deep into the heart of my friend. Cause them to remember this day and this word. Enable them to sense your moving and receive your blessing. We trust you for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. It's so amazing how God speaks to you in such a direct way. God wants to make sure this word is received by you. So John and I are here to pray over you. We believe for your appointed times to be fulfilled. Share with us right away what you're facing and what you desire. We're going to intercede. We speak the mighty word of God over you. So powerful. We'll also write to you so you can have God's word for your life confirmed. So let us hear from you soon. Okay, to drive this message into your spirit, I give you words to speak over your life. This is what we call our spiritual power line. So go around off and on all day saying these words. It's meant to be for me. It's meant to be for me. See, you're expressing the truth of what God has ordained for you. Will happen. It will come about. It's meant to be. And to help you remember that, be sure to get this message. God wants to speak to you in it. So we'll send you all five parts of it and the prayer times. The name of it is It's Meant to Be. It's offer number AM842. That's 842. We can send a CD of it to you for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can get a download of it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T Ministries dot O-R-G. Our announcer will give you all the information. And I want to make sure you have our recent power packet. This is a package of materials that's filled with great stuff for you. I'm talking about spiritual articles, good information, great praise reports that shows you what God can do in your life. We have special gift offers, and John and I have written a letter in there for you. We're inviting you to a powerful prayer day for your life. I don't want you to miss this. And there are so many other things, even a recipe. So request the power packet. This is our gift to you. God bless you. This is Jeannie Alcott. What a great time in God we had. His anointing has now been imparted to you, and His Word is working to help and bless you. Jeannie and John are here to cover you with prayer and speak words from God over your life. So get in touch with us by calling 918 918- 459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries Post Office Box 3400 Broken Arrow, Oklahoma 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org Jeannie and John want to receive your prayer requests and offer you special gift resources and also encourage you with our devotionals and inspirational videos Now, let us know today that you want to request a copy of this message And know that you delight the heart of God as you give into this ministry. And He promises to give back to you in every way. Join us next time to receive a word of power.